Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hi! And we're going to do a quick bit on materials. So if you've never used materials before, this will help you out. If you have used materials, I'm not sure if I'm going to tell you anything new. So let's take a look at this from the front. And I'm going to duplicate this cube. So I'm going to do Shift D, and then I'm going to move it along the X uh, three places. Enter, Shift D, along the X, three places, Enter. So I've got my three cubes. In fact, maybe I'll move these, a negative three along the X. Oh, X is the default, so I didn't have to type X. Uh, this isn't about translating, though. This is about textures. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you how to create a simple texture. So let's, for example, uh, change this guy to red. It's all of a sudden, boom, oh, they're all red. What's going on there? Because you duplicated them. I duplicated them, but what was duplicated was the object with, each object had a reference to the same material. The material actually is not duplicated. So if you see the material name here, you'll see it's called material. And here, it's also called material. So if you named it, like, <laughs> material one or something, they would all be named material one, two? Yes. So for example, if I, let's say I change the name of this one. And I'll say, uh, I'll call this red. I go back here. Well, I just changed the name of that, that material because they're all pointing at the same object. Uh, in this case, uh, a data block, a uh, materials data block. And uh, so, for example, if I, and if I change this one, say, oh, I really want this one to be yellow. Well, I'm still manipulating the same block that they're all pointing to. And one way I can show that is by going to the uh, outline, outliner, and view the uh, oops schematic. Now, that's not the oops you think it is. It's... Actually, an abbreviation. <laughs> so. That's good. so you can see that here's cube two, here's cube, here's cube one. I don't. That's a lot of data blocks. Yeah, we've already got a lot in here. And you'll see there's cube 2 has a mesh. And notice, this is showing the linking, the relationships. So for example, our scene has a camera and a lamp. And our scene has three cubes. And each cube has its own mesh. But, and But they all have one texture or material. Yes, so they're all going to one material which also has one texture. So what we're going to do, go back to 3D view, and let's say we want this to have a different texture. Well, we can click on here and say add new and it creates a duplicate. Mm -hmm. And we'll call this one maybe yellow. And this one, notice, is still red, so we can go back and make this the red one. Ooh. And here, let's change this one to... Green. See, yeah, <laughs> yeah. now, if I just type in green here, I'll change the name for this one, too. So what You're I need right. to do... Add new. Add new. Type in green. And then... That's yellow. <laughs> That's all right. Ooh! And I've got these three that all are the red texture. But what if I like all the properties that I've set for this texture, but I want to change them all slightly? Mm -hmm. I'd have to go through and, you know, select each one, click, oh, you know, add new, add new, add new. Well, there's an easier way. What I can do is type U and say that I want to make a single user of each of the materials and textures on the selected objects. So now, 
You can see this has material OO3, red OO2, and red OO1. And if we were to look at our outliner, you'll see it's getting real, real messy. It's kind of hard to follow, <laughs> but... <laughs> Here, I'll pause and I'll clean it. All right, we cleaned it up a bit. Richard sat with me patiently as I did that. Now, remember the reds that we just created, we started out by duplicating uh, 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 the red cube, and we've got these three new ones. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the cube we duplicated, and we uh, then we uh, made single user of the textures so that we had duplicates of the red texture here. And then uh, the interesting thing is we uh, have the texture duplicates here, but by using the uh, OOP schematic, we can see that this red, this yellow, and this green all share this texture. So if you were messing with the texture, you might uh, drive yourself nuts by seeing that, gee, you changed this texture, and now your yellow object looks funny. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So now I'm going back to the 3D view. We've got our uh, different objects now. So now I can select this. The whole point was to just make a slight variation of each of these because all the, you know, for example, maybe all the other properties were you liked, but you just wanted to make independent uh textures of them. Ooh, yeah. That looks kind of nice, just all the different color blocks. Yeah. Well, that's a uh, brief introduction to textures. There's a, a ton more. Maybe we'll do another uh, video on it. And uh, also the uh, uh, Oops schematic window in the outliner. And, and uh, actually, before we go, you can also split screen and do the obscumag in one side and the uh, and keep an eye on your thing because um, if you want to just look and change and without really having the trouble of doing all that and it got all messed up again. Oh well. Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, actually, I'm glad you brought that up, Richard. Because watch if I switch the outliner here. We had modified outliner in this view when I created the new view it redid the whole uh, setup here so keep using this one and then I'll just switch this one to the 3d view and uh, or if I want let's see if I can split this Whoa. I'm curious to see what happens see look at that the new one over there yeah that's not the one that we liked or that we worked on. Yeah. And the nice thing is, notice that you see the dotted line of the one that is currently active in the uh, 3D window. Yeah, and the oops schematic thing. Like, whenever you select the box, the thing turns white, and whenever you select the thing on there, on the oops schematic, I'm pointing like you can see me. <laughs> um, <laughs> then it'll select the box. So uh, that makes it a little bit easier too. And an important thing to know to note is that uh, when you select an object here, you'll see in the oops schematic a dotted line around it, and it's lighter colored as well. Now, if I click over here, you'll see that it's this still has a dotted line all right but the highlight here the lighter color is showing that this is selected in the 3d window but then what's this dotted line mean well this dotted line means that 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 was the one that was active previously that all of our controls here are are referring to so this is the yellow one see this is active you can see mm -hmm. that it's the yellow material so that's what our, our, our button panels are relating to, is the dotted line one. The mm -hmm. lighter color one is showing what's active in the 3D window. Mm 